Hi, my name is Samuel Kota. I'm Senior Manager in the Product Management Team for the Linux Server Foundation at Oracle. And today I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to automate and speed up the security fixing, security patching on your system. So let's start with, with a quick evaluation of the traditional patching uh, procedures. Usually what does it happen? Uh, when, when a security update is released, uh, system administrators start to evaluate uh, when that kind of security fix or se that list of security fixes can be applied or can be installed on, on the production systems. To, to approach this kind of thing, system administrator have, have to understand the possible date or when at the end the service can, uh, can get an outage because uh, the, the possible application, the possible database, the possible systems have to be rebooted just to get those security fixes installed. And this is just the first step. When we move to the second steps, so weeks or even months later, at that point, uh, the system administrator already involved all the possible teams like, for example, the application team or the database team that are required to collaborate and work all together on the possible downtime for the service. And so on, and only at that point, uh, the application team will manage the application layer. So the, all the application services will be taken down. The same kind of thing will happen for the database side. And then only at that point, the system administrators will have the opportunity to possibly install the security fixes on the operating system. Uh, third, last but not least step is uh, the, the post-installation verification or the post-installation checks. What does it mean? It means that uh, all the teams, so the application team, the database team and also the system administrators have to evaluate that everything correctly works. Uh, also because uh, possible security fixes could also introduce uh, a regression or maybe uh, the same application was leveraging a security hole uh, and now the security fix closed that, that kind of opportunity. And as you can understand, this is a very long process that involved a huge amount of people, different teams all together. And the final result is that you are going to apply the security fixes on your production system weeks or even months later. And, and this kind of situation means that your production system were running unsecured for uh, a discrete period of time. And the result of this disruptive and delayed security patching procedure is that many companies are hacked every day. Now, when we talk about cybercrime, uh, let me make it clear, no one is immune. All organizations and industries are getting hacked today. Uh, as you can see, the financial sector is leading the way in cyber vulnerability, but don't discount other. So all, again, all organizations and industries are getting added today. In summary, uh, cyber crime is really occurring across every vertical and industry today. Let's now see a possible different approach to the security fixes. Case plies like patching a solution light years ahead of competition. CaseFlies rapidly patches security vulnerabilities for Linux kernel hypervisors, as well as selected user space libraries without any kind of downtime, without restarting your application, without restarting your database, without rebooting your systems. So all your, all your system will be up to date and secured. And, and those updates are not going to change the kernel or the system library ABIs. Um, your virtual machines and containers will continue to run and won't be disrupted. Uh, all of those updates are completely transparent to possible third-party kernel modules as well as all the possible applications running on top of your operating system. By case plies, you can really keep your systems patched without any kind of downtime. Um, well, at Oracle, we are also the first case plies customer. On the Oracle Cloud, we have been able to patch more than 100,000 systems in hours. And it's a proven technology because we already have more than 1 million patches that have been delivered with case plies. 
Let me now see some of the case price benefits. Uh, so obviously, first of all, we can improve the system availability. So all the security Linux patches and updates have been applied uh, on our system without any kind of downtime. Uh, we can improve the security. So when the, the security fix is there, we can immediately apply the fix just because we are not going to, go to, to have any kind of impact to our services. Uh, we can obviously minimize our labor cost uh, just because uh, when, it, when the security fix is available, uh, we can immediately install it um, by case price without advertising anyone. Uh, our services will continue to run without any kind of problem. And obviously, uh, we can even optimize the process or the security patching process because all of those patches can be also uh, installed by an automated process uh, managed by case price itself. Uh, <coughs> that said, the important thing to know is that we also have a dedicated white paper where you can find uh, how to sting ahead of, of cyber threats. Another option uh, available in case price is case price inspector. Case price inspector is an online tool that can help you to identify kernel vulnerability proactively. What does it mean? It means that it does not matter if you already installed case price on your system or not. By executing a simple command on your Linux operating system, you can then get the output, uh, push the output on um, case price inspector website, and over there you can see the list of all the security fixes that are available for your running kernel on Linux operating system. But case price is not only for the kernel. In fact, at the same time with case price, you can also install security fixes for some of the user space components. And between them, we have OpenSSL and also glibc, for example. Uh, some time ago, for example, the Heartbleed bug that had been there in OpenSSL caused the thousands of providers to reissue uh, their certificates with uh, a huge amount of money as an estimated cost. Uh, all our case price customers didn't have this kind of problem. So they, they had been able to install the security fixes on OpenSSL and GDPC without any kind of downtime, without any kind of issue, but most important, without losing any money. Another cool feature that we lately added to case price is the known exploit detection. Known exploit detection allows to get reports on possible attempted exploitation of a known attack vector. What does it mean? It means that a CVE was there, uh, we installed the security fix by case price, so without any kind of downtime. If someone tries to exploit that specific security hole, uh, we will get advertised on the same. Uh, we can also decide, for example, to receive an email, and at that point, the system administrator will be able to monitor the system for suspicious activities. Getting started with case price is very, very easy. You just need to register your virtual machines to the um, Oracle and Blackboard Linux network, so ULN Linux.com. Uh, and over there, just subscribe your uh, virtual machine or your environment to the case price YAM channels dedicated to this. Uh, you have um, case price channels dedicated to the kernel, case price channels dedicated to the user space stuff. Uh, once done, uh, the only thing is just to install case price over there. Uh, with the case price uh, common line utility, at that point you will have the opportunity and the option to install all the security fixes coming with case price. We also have an offline client. What does it mean, an offline client? Uh, we perfectly understand that um, there are customers that maybe do not want to get their servers breaching, directly breaching the public uh, Oracle website, so the linux.oracle.com website. Uh, to those customers, we also give the opportunity to get uh, the case price and channel synced and mirrored on their data center. And at that point, by leveraging an offline uh, case price client, they, those customers can obtain the same result without reaching, without getting, getting their servers reaching the public website. So case price is part of the Oracle Linux premier support while running Oracle Linux on-prem. That said, the important thing to know is that case price is today available uh, on any of the Oracle Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS and Ubuntu system while running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And over there, the registration to the Unbreakable Linux network is not required. Uh, the important thing to know is that case price is installed by default on all the Oracle Linux instances launched and started on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. 
And last but not least, uh, on Oracle Autonomous Linux images, case price is installed and configured by default, where no user action is required. Let's now see uh, uh, case price in action. So let's now see on my uh, demo environment where I, I will show you uh, all the case price cap capabilities and what you can obtain by leveraging case price. Uh, on an Oracle Linux system. I will show you uh, the fact that you can install all the possible security fixes, evaluate the results. You can even evaluate and execute the possible rollback of those fixes if, for example, you are going to have any kind of problem. So there's no limitation in terms of what you can install and also what you can uninstall in terms of case by security fixes. So here I have my server running on Oracle Linux 7. It's quite old release. It's an Oracle Linux 7.2, and even the kernel is um, uh, an unbreakable enterprise kernel release 4, and the, even this one is at least two years old. Now let's start to see what we can do with case splice. Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, one very interesting command is case splice list all list targets. Uh, this command uh, will show us um, all the possible updates related to the user space that can be installed by Caseplies, so without any kind of outage, without taking down our processes, services, applications, databases. As you can see, we have a list of packages here uh, um, showing me uh, the, the release that I have installed, but that um, um, is going to be updated by Caseplies without any kind of outage. Uh, so we have a huge list of processes that are actually leveraging, for example, uh, glibc as well as OpenSSL on, on this Oracle Linux 7 system. And at the same time, I can also see the kernel that can be uh, managed or can be secured by case splice. Uh, another, another comment uh, that obviously is maybe one of the most important is case splice all upgrade. This kind of command is going to verify and suggest me all the possible updates uh, that are there and can be installed by case splice, so again, without any kind of outage, on both the user space components. As you can see here, we have patches dedicated to uh, glibc as well as OpenSSL, and I can install them. Those patches are going to replace in memory both glibc as well as OpenSSL. And all the existing processes that we uh, see we, we saw before are not going to be affected by this installation of patches. So uh, those releases are going to be pushed on memory. And so I do not need to restart any process, any service. Now, the update of user space components like glibc and OpenSSL is now completed. But that's not all. Now, Caseplice is also going to verify the possible updates that are, are available for the kernel. And as you can see, here we have four different patches, four different security fixes, with, uh, where e for each of them we have also a CV associated that can be installed on my kernel. The process is quite fast. Everything is, can be even automated. Uh, now, uh, case price is installing those security fixes for the kernel in memory. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> the first four, maybe the first four fixes that uh, I have installed on, on, on my kernel introduced another huge list of security fixes that are available for this kernel. And even all of them can be again installed without any kind of outage for my system. As you can see, even the installation is quite fast. Consider that here we are running a kernel that is at least two years old. And so there's a huge list of security fixes available for my kernel. So I'm taking my kernel two years ahead. And so I'm going to install a huge list of security fixes. And, and all of them can be installed in, in some seconds or maybe a minute, not more. At the end of the process, I can see also the updated kernel release that is now running on my system. So if I execute your name, I can see 
the kernel release installed on the file system, installed on the on my Linux operating system, by executing uprec uname, I can see the kernel release running in memory in terms of security fixes. And this one is actually the latest available for Oracle Linux 7. Now, if I want to see the list of security fixes installed by, by Ksplice, another command that is quite interesting is Ksplice all show. This kind of command is going to show me uh, very important information. So first of all, uh, for each process that is affected by a security fix installed by Ksplice, and the security user space fix installed by Ksplice, I can see the CV that Ksplice fixed for, for this process. As you can see, we have uh, our syslog D, we have other processes like Tune D, where we have uh, we had uh, security fixes installed by Ksplice. The same kind of thing is there for Bash, for example, and even SSH, we have a couple of security fixes that have been enabled by the security fixes installed by Ksplice. That said, I can also see all the case splice kernel updates that had been installed on the system that at the end took me to have an effective kernel release that is equal to the latest one actually available for Oracle Linux 7. That said, last but not least, I also have the option to possibly roll back those security fixes. And there's no limitation while trying to roll back a security fix is done by case splice. By executing, for example, the command case splice all remove, dash dash all, I can proceed to roll back the security fixes that, for example, I installed on user space components. And I can also decide to possibly roll back all the security fixes that are there or that have been installed for the kernel. I can also decide that to roll back a specific security fix. So I'm not um, obviously I uh, I do not have to roll back all of them. I can decide also to roll back only one of them if maybe this one is going to create any kind of issue on my system. And as you can see now, the effect, effective kernel version running on my system is what I have installed on the file system. Uh, now, I can even check again the status of patches that have been installed on, on my system by case plies. And as you can see, both for the user space components as well as the kernel, no patches are installed. So all of them have been rolled back. Obviously, it's not suggested to roll back patches just because all of them are security fixes that you can get for free. And for free, I mean, without any kind of outage, without rebooting your application, your database, or your system. I would like to thank you for the time dedicated uh, to this very quick overview of case price capabilities. On this slide, uh, you can find all our uh, different social accounts where you can reach out to us for any kind of question related to Linux and Organization at Oracle. Uh, that said, uh, again, thank you so much. Have a nice day. See you soon.